The casual visitor to Buford can see the impressive presence of the United States Marine Corps as they pass by the Marine Air Station and the entrance to Paris Island. But what most tourists don't know is that the area is home to one of the earliest military installations in the United States. The essence of the military history is here is the geography. The uh, Port Royal Sound was, is the deepest natural harbor south of New York Harbor on the Atlantic coast. So, it was, so when Spanish explorers and French explorers came along this coast, they found what the Spaniards called Santa Elena, what the French call Port Royal, and it was Port Royal that stuck. So all of those mariners wanted to be here. And uh, the French came in 1562, the Spanish in 1566. So this became a very important sort of military outpost of the Spanish Empire, the northern outpost of the, of the Spanish Main from 1566 until 1587. In fact, the Spaniards claimed it right up until 1763. Um, and then when the English moved in 100 years later, then it became the southern frontier of English North America. And from the earliest English settlement in 1670, which actually came here before it went to Charleston, they were headed here, um, down to the settling of Savannah in 1733, this was the southern frontier of English North America. And you have a number of English forts. So you have a French fort in 1562, Spanish forts, uh, four at least, that we know of from 1566 to 1587. And then when the English arrived in 1670, they had an outpost uh, here in 1702, a fort by 1706, another fort in 1721, and a third fort in 1757. From the late 18th through the 19th century, no military use was made of Paris Island. There were other military locations in the area, though limited in importance. On the grounds of the modern-day Naval Hospital are the ruins of a 1735 fort built by the British. Fort Frederick's mission was to protect Buford from Native Americans in the local area and Spaniards down the coast. When the United States government um, be was in charge of the military around here, then uh, it became protection of Port Royal Sound. Uh, they built a Fort Marion during the War of 1812, and British ships actually sailed into Port Royal Sound and blockaded the harbor for a number of months in, in uh, 1814. They um, subsequently had plans to build uh, harbor fortifications out as far as Paris Island, off of Paris Island. And ultimately, by the time of the Spanish-American uh, Spanish War in 1898, they had built a very large harbor fortification on Land's End called Fort Fremont. So one way or another, uh, from the 16th century until the 20th century, this was one kind of a military installation or another.